Hey guys, it's Jay. Welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. In today's video, we will be transforming my brows. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Gel Tint. Pretty much with this one, what you do is you put it on, you leave it on for 20 minutes, and then you peel it off. It is supposed to tint your brows, and it will leave them like that for about three days. I'm going to be showing you the application, how I apply it, and then I'll also be checking in with you for three consecutive days, so today, tomorrow, and then the day after that, to see if this lasted throughout all of the three days. So, pretty much on the box, it literally just says to apply it, then to let it dry for at least 20 minutes, and then the third step is to peel off, and you're supposed to have beautiful, lovely, fluffy, stained brows. I'm going to open it up. And the component literally looks like this. Black and it says Tattoo Brow Gel Tint with like a nice rose gold cap on it. So I figured for today what we'll do is instead of me just applying it straight from here onto the brow, which you can do, I'm going to maybe apply it with a brush that I would usually use to do my eyebrows and then kind of like draw it in and then maybe fill it in with the brush from the actual product. Okay, so the best thing I'm going to do is grab a spoolie and just spoolie through my eyebrows, making sure all the hairs are going in the same direction. So now I've just grabbed the brow tint and straight off the applicator I'm going to pop it on my liner brush just like that. And I'm going to start with the left eyebrow here because that's like my good eyebrow. So. Obviously, if you make it like a mess or you kind of don't, like you go a little bit out of the lines, it's fine because then we'll just grab the um, the Q-tip and we'll just clean that up. So that's like the outside of one done. I'm just going to dunk that into the product and now just fill in. I think for the other one, I might just give it a go straight from the apple header just to kind of show you guys what it's like applying it with like an ankle brush and on the other side I'll do it just with the brush that it comes with. Okay, so now that both brows are nice and evenly coated in the product, I'm going to grab a Q-tip that I just dumped in a little bit of micellar water and just run it around the outside of it. Now that the product is on both eyebrows, I need to leave it for 20 minutes, and then in 20 minutes I'll come back, we'll peel it off, and then we'll quickly do a face of makeup. I'll see you guys back here in 20 minutes. Alrighty, so the 20 minutes has passed, I just had some lunch in the meantime, and now it's time to peel up our brows, I guess, and we'll see what they look like. So, um, let's go. I think let's start with this one, because we did this one first, so we'll peel it from the tail end. And then what I'm going to do is, because I think there's some stuff just in the tail bit, it's going to spoolie through. There we go. That's the last of it there. There we go. So that is the left one. Tinted. <gasps> that kind of looks really nice. I really like that. Go for the right side now, which this is one we did straight from the applicator. Okay, so this one's peeling a lot better. It's peeling off more in like all one piece as opposed to the other one. Looks like I missed a spot just there. That's okay. And then I'll grab my spoolie again and just run through. Now that the eyebrow tinting is done, I feel like we should do a basic, like a little quick makeup look just to kind of see what the brows look like when you have a full face of makeup on. So I'm thinking maybe we might do something a little bit more natural only because the eyebrow tint kind of adds a more of a tint and I don't really want to fill them in because I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose of what we just did. Because we want to kind of get like more of a natural kind of look today. I'm not going to do the top, I'm only going to do the bottom. So I want to leave the top kind of fluffy so we can brush our brow, our brow hairs upwards and leave it kind of like fluffy and whatnot. I'm just going to put this one on the back of my hand just like that and then I'm going to grab a flat definer brush and just kind of go underneath and then just kind of go underneath each brow.
So now that we've concealed under the brows, I'm going to jump in with foundation. And to complement the 24 hour concealer, I'm going to go in with the Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. And this one is in the shade 32 Golden. This one's going to be a touch too dark for me, but when I use my concealer, it'll kind of help to lighten all of that up. I'm just grabbing a buffing brush and just kind of buffing that into the skin. You can build this one up to do really heavy coverage, but I'm just doing a light one today only because I want to do something a little bit more natural and because we're keeping the brows nice and kind of fluffy and nothing too defined. The foundation is on, so I'm going to jump back in with my Superstay Full Coverage 24 Hour Concealer. That one underneath both eyes, a little bit above the cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin, touch down the nose about three strokes like that. Now I'm just going to take that same buffing brush and just buff that out. Um, I could bring that foundation down but I'm just going to kind of just cover my jacket like that and then we don't have to worry about bringing anything down my neck. Now it's time to set the base down, so I'm going to jump in with my favourite powder, and this one is the Fit Me Loose Powder in Light. I'm going to take it on the buffer brush, and use that to set under the eye area. And then for the rest of the face, I'll just grab a fluffy brush to set the rest of it. I think today, because we want to try and keep it as minimal and like natural as possible, I'm not actually going to go in with a contour. I'm going to go in with the City Bronzer, which is a bronzer and contour kind of in one. So I'll let in and just begin to kind of give the cheeks a little bit of warmth. Again, this is more just to like add warmth to the face. I think I want to try and keep the look as natural as possible and we'll kind of let the blush kind of add more structure to the face I think so that added just a touch of structure into the face then literally on the same brush that I just did that contour on so you don't really have to use another one I'm going to dive in with this blush right here which is the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade 15 this one has a little bit of sparkle in it as well And this one's got a beautiful like luminosity to it as well, as you can see. Having that luminosity will blend it better with the highlighter when we do highlight later. I think so the last two steps are mascara, lips, and then a little bit of highlighter, and then we are kind of done. Oh, just backtrack just a little bit. I'm gonna take that city bronzer as well and pop it into the crease of my eyes. Alright, so in my lashes today, I want like a lot of volume. I want heaps of volume in the lashes today, only because I don't think we're going to be putting on any like false lashes. Um, so I'm going to take this one here, which is the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express. Okay, mascara's on. Now we've just got to do highlight and then lips and then we are done. So for highlighter, I'm going in with my favourite. I was going to go in with the rose gold one, but I think I've used that one way too many times, so I think it's time to switch it up. And we'll go in with the Master Chrome highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. I keep using the rose gold one like way too often, and I think like in the last video I used the rose gold one. And so I'm like, oh, I think I might just use the gold one this time. But like my obsession are these Master Chrome highlighters, and you'll see why. Take a little bit of that on the forehead, give us some shine on the nose, pubis bow, chin. But to stay on the super stay trend as well, since we did the foundation with that, we did the concealer with that, I think it's only fitting that we do a super stay liquid lip. The shade I'll be using today, and this one is in the shade number 55, which is called Driver. I'm actually going to take the shade 75 Fighter as well and just put that towards the outside of the mouth. So 
So this is a look that I came up with just with some natural brows, little kind of natural nude lip and then a touch of highlight, a little bit of blush. And this is kind of like a natural look that you can do with the brow tint. Now that we've done this, this is day one, this is what the brows look like. They're nice, they're fluffy, they're tinted. And then I'll check back with you tomorrow and we'll see how the brows are progressing. And then I'll check back with you on day three and we'll see how they're going and we can see how long these brows last. So this is day one, this is what they look like with a really simple makeup look. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow for our second day brow checking. See you then. Alrighty guys, so it's now day two and this is what the brows look like. Don't mind my oily skin. Um, but that's what they look like, so it's just like really cute. I feel like it's just kind of, the staining is like still kind of on the skin and it just looks like I've kind of filled them in like really lightly, like nothing too intense. I really like it. I feel like tomorrow it's definitely gonna look more like the hair is gonna be tinted, it's kinda of gonna fade more off the skin. But like it's kind of faded a little bit from the skin. But it's like in the sun, and like a little bit in the shade. Yeah, so far so good. Hi everyone, this is day number three of checking in on my brows. And I just got up about an hour ago, so I still gotta like wash my face and whatnot. But this is what the brows look like. So I'll give you a little close up. There we go. So. Pretty much like as I expected yesterday, I pretty much thought that the brows were gonna like, the tint was gonna come off the skin and then just kind of stay on the hairs, which is kind of what's happened. So if you look like it's all tinted the hairs, so it's still super dark, but like the tint has kind of come off the skin, which is fine because if it stays on the brow hairs, you can just kind of like fill around it. It doesn't take as long to fill in, if that makes sense. It faded really nicely as well. I feel like it didn't fade weirdly. It didn't turn any odd colors. It didn't go patchy. Like I feel like it all kind of faded at once, if that makes sense. Like it wasn't like dark here and then light here and then dark again. Like I kind of think that the brows kind of faded really evenly, which I really like. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for all the check-ins. So I just checked in for three days. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the little makeup tutorial as well as the application of the brow tint, my little check-in as well. So thanks for so much for watching. Make sure you like this video as well as subscribe to Maybelline YouTube channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. See you then. Bye. Mwah.